hello everyone here in this uh, post we would like to calculate the velocity at the bottom of the vertical circular motion we would like to see what is the velocity that the body is going to have at this point let that velocity that we want to calculate is v let the body mass equal to m it is attached to a string let the length of the string is equal to r we have already proved that the minimum velocity at the top of a vertical circular motion is equal to root rg basing on the data we also would like to calculate what is the minimum velocity required at the bottom therefore the body can continue its vertical circular motion so let us call this point as o this point as a this point as b taking this point the point a as a reference point we would like to apply law of conservation of energy between the points a and b according to law of conservation of energy total energy at the point a equal to total energy at the point b total energy means potential energy at the point a as well as the kinetic energy at the point a similarly total energy at the point b is potential energy as well as the kinetic energy at the respective point being we have taken a itself as a reference point potential energy there equal to zero kinetic energy is half m v square where we want to calculate that v itself potential energy at the point b is when compared with the well potential energy at the point b is mg into 2r where 2r is the height of that body with reference to the point a because both are the radius and radius together becomes the diameter and half m v square we know that velocity at the top as we have proved in the previous post equal to root rg that is equal to whole square we can cancel the masses both on the lhs and the rhs side of the equation and we can write the remaining terms v square by 2 equal to 2 rg as well as rg by 2 let us multiply this entire equation with 2 then we will get v square equal to 4 rg as well as rg therefore v equal to root 5 rg that is the minimum required velocity at the bottom of the vertical circular motion for the body to continue the circular motion if the velocity is more than this at the bottom that is fine the body can continue its vertical circular motion if it is less than this then the body cannot continue its vertical circular motion at this junction we can also calculate the minimum velocity ratio of the bottom and the top of the vertical circular motion we know velocity at the bottom is root 5 rg we have proved in the previous post that the velocity is root rg at the top so the ratio is root 5 is to 1 we can also identify the tension at that point the minimum tension at that point we know centripetal force at any point is the effective force that is acting towards the center the tension is always acting towards the main position therefore it is positive mg is acting away from the main position therefore it is negative by substituting the value of the v root 5 rg that we have calculated we can get the tension as equal to 6 mg therefore for any body to continue its vertical circular motion it shall have a minimum tension at the bottom of the vertical circular motion and it shall have a minimum velocity of root 5 rg where r is the radius of the length of the string because of which the body is in the circular motion